Man, there. Ah. I need to make a pick. Look at my profile picture, and everybody will know who I'm picking. I'm not going to say his name, because I'm going to jinx it heavily. Is my chair broken? I don't know. It does not feel right. Here we go. I feel like NBC has been promoting their style of coverage in the radio style of coverage this weekend more than the actual race. That might just be... Oh, God. They're, they're almost three wide. They're still alive. Oh, no. Ryan Newman. Well, Newman crashed and he didn't flip. That's rare. All right, see that time? It's just 3.12 p.m. I was looking at the weather before the race, and I etched it into my brain. 3.36, there's rain scheduled, so... 24 minutes until a great race begins. Brad! You had one lap! He had a tire go down. There's no way. He's still sixth, but... Bro, Brad, you just got to pit right there. Just, just pit. I, I swear to God, I saw Chase in seventh, but that's Reddick. Kind of looks similar, but... Well, I thought Larson was going to be the one to spin, because coming out of turn four, like, every lap, he looked like he was about to die. I thought he was going to do a Jeff Gordon. Jeez. Already restarting. I was not prepared, but I somehow got this already in time because I'm a master of putting a phone on a tripod now. Did Chase pit? I was not paying attention. Oh, God. Yeah, Larson's going to spin at some point. They're four wide heading into the S's. Obviously not for the lead, but back in the field they were. Oh, Blaney. Oh, boy. I'm just waiting for, like, the way too gigantic one to occur somewhere sometime. These cars do not look stable. Blaney's going to knock Reddick off the track here. He's going to hit that wall and do a Sam Hornish and just die. No, he's not. Third time, I believe, already in the first 14 laps I'm saying this, but Kyle Larson is going to wreck out of the S's. He is not going to survive this entire race. Look, he almost just spun right there. He's all over the place. He's a dirt racer, but that doesn't mean he could do this for 90 laps in a stock car. or Yeah, a NASCAR cup car. I mean, he's going to wreck. So Larson's going to wreck from the lead. Oh, wait, no, he's not. He he never took it. Wow, nice job by Logano. Sun comes out, and if you can see there in the top left corner, we are eight minutes from rain, apparently. But the sun is shining, so we'll see. Brad wrecked again. He saved it. Wow. My God, that was actually really cool. Alright, Joey Logano's going to win stage one. Uh, boo. At least it was a good race so far. I wonder if this race would finish before IndyCar. It's not raining either. I wonder what, wait, Stenhouse. Well, Briscoe. Chase Briscoe's winning next week, not this week. Oh, Truex. Truex is going to take the lead. Oh well. I'm just waiting for something to happen in the S's, so I'm gonna keep recording until on every restart until everybody's through the S's. Because something's gonna happen in there. Someone went around? Blaney. Why is there a caution? There there's a caution for Blaney. Oh, uh, Rick Ware racing car. Go figure. 
348. And no rain. There, there's not going to be rain. My weather app was wrong. And is Spinhouse going to spin Briscoe? Recky Spinhouse doesn't strike yet. He's obviously waiting three weeks till Daytona. Who's that in the Stanley car? Is that Bell? Or... That's Bell. Where's Chase at? He was like... God, Chase isn't going to win at Watkins Glen. This is what happens when everybody mass picks him to win a race. He's nowhere. My God. Tell me this is pit strategy. Tell me this is pit strategy. Oh. He locked up the brakes. Flat spotted the tire. Oh. Yeah, that's enough to have to pit it. He's still in it. He's still in it. Technically. Well, this is a good sign. Fastest lap for Chase. Not that that really matters in NASCAR. This St. F1 where you get a point for that. But All right. Truex is going to win stage two. So, unless he blows up now. But that did not happen right there. So, all right. The final stage. Um, I see Chase. He's in what? 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18. He's in 20th. He's ahead of Dennis Hamlin. Yo, Kyle Busch up the middle. Yeah, Larson's going to take the regular season championship lead today, I think. Survived the S's again, surprisingly. Kyle Busch is being Formula One-like aggressive right now on his moves. This race, in theory, could be barely longer than two hours. This would be, like, the shortest NASCAR race to finish the full distance ever if it goes green to the end. Like, this race has been short. Oh, here's a pass. Oh, three wide, three wide. Bell's going to get turned. Come on, Larson. Do a dive bomb. I, I mean, I like Christopher Bell, but I kind of want, I kind of want the Joe Gibbs cars to run into each other. That would just kind of be funny in turn one. They're going to commercial break because there's a great battle for the league going on. At least Bell did not like make the pass there just as they went to commercial. That would have been. Everybody would hate NBC if that were the case. Chase is 11th. If we get one caution, he's back in it. I'm genuinely wondering if in 40 laps with a pit stop also, can Chase catch him under green? He's 12 seconds back. Junior said there's a sp oh it's Eric Jones didn't hit anything or is he stuck please please say he stalled it I think that's harder to do in a NASCAR than like in an Indy car but still please say he stalled it I want a yellow oh I can feel a pass coming here He's going to stay in behind him. Down into turn one. Come on, this is... Larson going for second. Oh, oh, he wrecked him. Oh, it's Larson, uh, but no. Wreck Truex if you're going to wreck somebody. Oh my God. 
I think that's Bell's fault. Yeah, you can see Larson was still on the curb. He, Bell just didn't give him any room. We'll see here. I think that's Lars or uh, Bell's fault. Oh man, Brad's been having a bad day. Dang it, they both got going. I really want to caution. I want a restart. That was like the Roval in 2018. Like the finish with Jimmy and Truex. Jason Pace is fast enough to win this race. My God. He's fast enough to catch the leaders if he doesn't get held up by the cars in front of him. Larson just took the lead. Uh, this is the most unsurprising thing of the season, seeing Kyle Larson leading a race. Oh, lap 64. The lap when Suarez had an issue. Wow. Hamlin's spilling fuel. Track's going to catch on fire. Gotta throw a caution. I genuinely hope the track catches on fire to get a caution. Chase Elliott. He's 6.8 seconds back. Come on, Chase. Come on. Go three in a row. Oh, Chase is going to get the spot. Larson's going to throw it into maximum overdrive. Can Chase get there? And their teammates, will they actually, like, do unteammate like things for this race win? The slap traffic is the only thing that's going to let Chase win at this point. Chase is losing time, though. I've lost hope without a caution. Larson nearly just hit Anthony Alfredo. It's not over. Come on, Chase. Larson's still a bit loose through turn three there. But he's fixed his problems in turn four. Oh, boy. Still one more lap car. But Chase has four more. Somebody just put it in the barrier. But not Larson or Elliott. Truex, be our human sacrifice. I've taken off the hat. It's it's my only hope. I feel like whenever I wear something Chase Elliott, he, does, he doesn't do as good as he's expected. So I took off the hat. Maybe Larson will hit some bad luck. Ah, Chase is not going to get... He was so close. That that has to be, like, the performance of the year. Is there problems in... Oh, my God. I actually thought a final corner choke for the second time. Oh, someone's in the wall. Like, two laps too late for our caution. But, hey, now IndyCar is coming up. And that's going to be mad funny, I could already tell. And I'm calling it, somebody is going to, like... IndyCar, someone is going to cause a track blockage, and there's going to be, like, 20 cars in one wreck. Probably on the opening lap. Or Jimmy's just going to miss the first corner and, like, die and last. Jeez. Hendrick's too good. But I love it. 